Hello everyone. So I'm Dario Fiore from India. I'd like to advertise our work on attitude homomorphic functional commitments and applications of morphic signatures, which is joint work with Dario Catalano and Data Tucker. So this is about uh, functional commitments, uh, which is a notion uh, proposed in 2016 by Liber, Raman, and Jung. Uh, and it was proposed as a generalization of the more popular notions of vector commitments and polynomial commitments. So the idea of functional commitments is that um, we have two parties, a sender and a receiver. And uh, we think of the sender as a uh, you know, big party that can hold a large vector uh, X, and the receiver is of uh, with little resources. And um, the idea is that the sender wants to commit to this vector X, give this commitment to the um, uh, receiver, and then at later points in time, it wants to uh, compute some function on the committed data, give the result uh, to the receiver, but also uh, give some opening proofs. So in the opening proof uh, should convince the, the receiver that uh, the result Y is actually obtained by uh, uh, all, you know, what uh, opens the commitment. So the uh, property that makes a functional commitment an interesting and non-trivial primitive is succinctness. And this informally says that the size of openings and uh, commitments should be short uh, with respect to the input uh, uh, sites and ideally should be uh, constant. So uh, in the security property of uh, um, uh, functional commitments is the evaluation binding, uh, which informally says you cannot have a malicious sender that with uh, computation, I mean, computationally speaking, can open a commitment to two different outputs for the same function. So, um, and so in this sense, functional commitments, if you look at the um, uh, functionality, are like a weaker version of committed Bruce Narcs in which uh, the uh, strong notion of uh, soundness in SNARKs that is about producing uh, one single uh, proof for a false statement is replaced with uh, this evaluation binding, which the adversary should produce two proofs for disagreeing statements. Now, um, given this observation, it is an interesting question that of whether like, uh, uh, we can replace SNARK with functional commitments in some applications with the benefit of uh, uh, having a notion which is falsifiable and potentially realizable from falsifiable assumptions. So in this work, we actually start from this question and we ask in which applications evaluation binding is sufficient. And we observe that um, uh, you know, our very first uh, result is this observation that if you sign a functional commitment, this yields a very basic notion of homomorphic signatures. Well, we push this idea uh, even further and observe that if the functional commitment is additive homomorphic, then we yield uh, multi-input homomorphic signatures by pairing it with the linearly homomorphic signature. And interestingly, like uh, this gives a new paradigm for building these homomorphic signatures because uh, uh, the homomorphic signature would support the same class of functions supported by the functional commitment. And also, we, um, you know, if a commitment is additive homomorphic, it's also obtainable, and this yields uh, other applications. So the next question is whether there exists or can we construct additive homomorphic functional commitments. And uh, unfortunately, if we look at the state of the art, uh, only the schemes for linear functions are additive homomorphic. So our main results are the first additive homomorphic uh, functional commitments for functions beyond linear. And uh, we have one scheme for constant degree polynomials and another scheme for uh, circuits in the class NC1. And uh, these schemes have also implications to new homomorphic signatures uh, based on pairings. And I will not tell you more than uh, this in this talk. Uh, I really invite you to uh, come and listen to our talks at Asia Crypto.